Hi, welcome. In this session, let us go through the pom.xml of our SOPY project that which we will use for running the SOPY test. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So this is the pom.xml file for our SOPY project which we will be executing in Maven. So starting with the first one, this these lines are actually required by XML and these are definitions of the schema and the names, XML namespace and all. I will just leave it as it is and then comes the model version number basically this is element that uh, what version of the pom model we are using here and actually the 4.0 matches maven version 2 and 3 so you can just uh, keep it as 4.0 and then the group id basically is the unique base name of the organization or group actually that created the project and this also you can keep the same basically all these all this up till url you can always keep the same whatever is there these are all boilerplate code in here so basically you can just uh, ignore them and just keep it as same for all your projects you don't need to change anything up to the url in here and then coming back to the plugins in maven so this is the first line basically is the repository from where to download and all the dependencies in here by default you can set it to this link smart beer plugin repository id and then the url in here so you can actually set this in the maven settings file as well but we just want to keep it inside the pom because we would be using this only for our soapy wise so and this is a soapy wise specific repository that's why i've kept it uh, within the within this pom file and if you go into the soapy wise official site where also specifies the same url in here so we are repository maven 2 and we we are also using the same repository in here so this is what actually soapy wise has put all its plugins and dependencies in here next this was the plugin repository section and then the actual life cycle of maven starts here the build life cycle where we provide all the information about the build and then this is basically the main plugin com smart beer soapy maven plugin which actually it will download from the repository in here and soapy maven plugin and this is actually specified for 5.3 we can change it to 5.5 because we are actually writing our test in soapy version 5.5 it doesn't matter if you put 5.3 also because all the different versions are actually compatible with uh, and one each another one another i just changed it to 5.5 and this was the plugin and then next comes the dependencies section in here for this plugin basically this is the dependencies for dependency for this for this soapy maven plugin and then uh, there's one dependency com.ji goodies is actually required for one exception where it's missing so we'll just put it in and then the comms uh, smart beer soapy way and then this is the actual soapy way version where version where we'll put the soapy way version and i'll just name it as 5.5 here as well this is the exclusion for this we don't need this java fx jar file so i'll just put it in the exclusion uh, section of this plugin and this completes the dependencies for that plugin and next comes the execution part basically the element execution in this xml file allows us to configure the execution of a plugin goal so if you see the goal here this is the test goal which we will be running so this execution is basically defined in the soapy site where we can go to the soapy site and if you go to the test settings in here all the information about the executions are provided here the project file and if you want to just run the test suite only one test suite or only test case and then the endpoint uh, you can override your endpoint in the pom.xml here i am uh, putting the endpoint in here for example in during your test you are you might be using it to some url and when you are running it in actual qa environment or the production environment your url would be different so you can change put it in this maven pom.xml and then it has all the host port username passwords and then output folder junit report and export all actions you can go through this site link in here and it has all the information what all settings you can do for the plugin execution settings you can do for the plugin uh, and then coming back to this executions here the phase is test and the goal is also test in here and then all the other options print report export all test fail ignore i have put in and then the project properties this is just to show that we can also set the properties from the pom.xml for example i can set property one and then just put this value from maven and then 
you can use the same property in your soup ui test as well if you want to pass something like some variable or username or password from the form.xml also and then moving down we have the site plugin which i have put in here the site plugin is used to generate the reports and documentation so this is required for our test reports and all we would be using this surefire plugin surefire plugin so we need this site plugin in here this will put all the informations in a proper place in when we run the maven test or maven site and then the surefire plugin which is required for generating surefire reports and we provided the group id and the artifact and the version number which we are using currently in this pom.xml you can use the same one m4 version which is actually working with SoBY 5.5 .5. if a higher version of SoBY you might need to use a different version of course you can come ahead and change it in the pom.xml and test it out in your local system as well and then this is the final plugin in in here which is basically required for the previous plugin the surefire report plugin requires this extra plugin as well that's why i have to provide this one basically that's pretty much about the pom.xml of our soap execution you can use the same pom.xml and you can run your test basically you just need to change the path of your project in here where what is the location of your soap ui project.xml and then your endpoint and you can come back here and then you can change your test settings based on your needs and it has got all the descriptions here what true or what all options you need and what you need to set for those so and then you set all these execution options in here and you can run your test in your machine as well so that's all in this session thank you so much